Chris, the emergency management team here meeting with county officials, state officials. I'm also told they're in contact with the National Weather Service in Miami. Now, the director says he will be on a conference call with Governor Scott later this afternoon. Now, they're also closely monitoring Erica's path to gauge their level of response. Officials here say that this is a planning phase, and they say folks at home should be doing the same thing. This means stocking up on essentials, water, non perishables, and getting your storm kit together, things that you can take with you if you need to go in a hurry. They also advise people should be checking out evacuation zones, the path of an evacuation route if you're in that area. It's not the time to be putting shutters up right now, but they should be considering what if. That's, that's the kind of planning that we're doing. Now, again, you heard him describe this as a what if phase, just planning at this point, advising people at home to do the same thing. Live in West Palm Beach, Whitney Burbank, WPBF 25 News. All right, Whitney, thank you. And if you do need to evacuate, don't go far. The idea is to stay close, but out of the danger zone. If you have no place to go, a shelter is your last resort. Make sure that you bring supplies, medicine, bedding, clothing, bottled water, and extra car keys. Bring your important documents like social security cards, proof of residence, insurance policies, wills, deeds, birth and marriage certificates. And don't forget your pets. Make sure their tags are current. Get them microchipped just in case they get lost. There are specially designated pet shelters in the Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast, but you do have to make reservations. And if you haven't done so already, go to WPBF.com and download the Hurricane Survival Guide. There you will find all the information you need before, during, and after any storm. And track the tropics anytime by downloading the free WPBF 25 News Hurricane Tracker app.